Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to day seven of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. Um, I'm not going to be putting any links below to anything except if you are interested in this, go back to video one or take a look at the playlist. All of these are in a playlist and you can see what it is we are doing. But the short version is we are... Those of us who are participating in this, as the we, are making a postcard a day for the entire month of July. So that's 31 postcards in 31 days. Carrie the Crafter has posted this as a challenge on his website. And I am being very random about the, the postcards mostly, most days, not all days. Sometimes I, I have a, a postcard I specifically want. But most days, I'm being very random about the postcards I choose. So I have them here. I have them all face down, and I don't know what's going to be what. So let's just pick one today. Okay, this was one of my fails. So on this particular jelly plate, I tried to do two masks, which I did fairly well, and that worked out okay. I was, I was pleased with how those came out. But when I, I didn't let them dry long enough, and when I went to pull and or put down my light blue, I ended up pulling up half my paint. So it looks like clouds. It also looks a mess. So let's see what we can do to fix this. I think today we're going to need a little bit of help from some tissue paper. I have here, do I have a smaller piece? I do. I think I have a smaller piece here of the white. No, that's not what I want at all. I want the white with the, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. It has some sparkles on it. So this is just old gift wrap tissue pieces. You know, you, you get a gift and um, you reuse the tissue and you reuse the tissue and you reuse the tissue and then you can't use the tissue anymore. It's just, it's a mess. So let's put a little bit of sparkly tissues up here in the corner just to kind of cover up that splotch. And there was a real big splotch of green because there was also still paint left on the gel plate. Yeah, I call this a fail, but it was it's not really so much a fail as it is a um, an interesting take. Let's put it that way. It's an interesting take. All right, I'm gonna grab my glue stick and we're gonna put some glue down on the, I'm not probably on camera. Let me move over here a little bit. And just wanna cover that up. And now we've got a little bit of stuff on the paper, but it's another layer. There, that just kind of covers it over a little bit so that it's not quite so in your face. I obviously made a mistake. Although I keep saying there are no mistakes in crafting. Only, come on, only opportunities. Only opportunities. So there we go. We've added a little bit more of a layer there. I thought that was coming off for a minute. And we need a butterfly. So let's find a butterfly that we can... Okay, those are, I love these butterflies, but they're 260s for this particular piece. Um, and I already used those on a different one, so I don't want those. These are also dimensionals. Although I kind of like that purpley guy. He fades in a little bit, but I don't mind the fading in part. You know what I want to do with this one? I think I want to find my, no, that's not my corner rounder. This is my corner rounder. I don't round the corners on all of these, but sometimes that rounding the corner just gives it a little bit of, I don't know, just makes it look a little more special. There we go. And the, it fades, the, I'm was a little worried I was going to cut off my sun, but I did not. I do want to take, um, I have purple here. 
I want to check my chart and see which purple I want. I have these. I made the, the, I think I just want the craft purple or do I want the shaded lilac? I think I want the craft purple. All right. Getting out my ink. And my, where's my purple right there? And I want to get out my purple here. I don't know that that's the right purple. That's the right purple. And I don't, I haven't done this yet with any of them, but I think this particular one needs a little bit of help. Okay, it looks like I did not cut very well there. So let's take that off there. Um, as for what we're going to do with these when the whole thing is said and done, I haven't a clue yet. I do have, uh, I saw Eddie Makes Art made a, I think he was the one that made a really cool folder for them all, which I thought was a neat idea. So I'm thinking about that. But if you have any other ideas, let me know in the comments about what you think we should do with 31 postcards when we have completed them. I'm just moving this stuff out of my way because it will... Okay, this has a dimensional on it that I think... Do I want to... See, I'm not sure that I want the dimensional. No, I think I want it to be flat right against it. It pre-came with dimensionals on it, and I think I've taken them all off. Mostly because I don't want the height, especially in a journal. All right, I'm gonna fold that one over. Get out the glue stick. You know what? I'm not going to do this with glue stick. I'm going to do this with Fabri-Tac because I think it will stick better. Okay, just a little Fabri-Tac along his wings. And down here, a little touch little touch. And I don't feel quite so bad about the green that's still kind of showing through because there's green on him and he kind of fades in and that's okay with me. Now I have two sevens, the great big seven. They're both big ones. Nope, I definitely think I like the other set. I like this seven better. Now I need my glue stick. There we go. We'll put the seven kind of covering up that splotch where I picked up the flower. And there we go. It's fairly simple, but there was already a design on it. You could see the flowers. You can see the sun. You can see the clouds. Uh, I guess that's what we're going to call them with our butterfly and our number seven. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button to let YouTube know that you like them. All right, till later, this is Cindy signing off.